bro hello everybody i'm doing a game that i've been keeping myself from playing for a while um i haven't really found the perfect time to i guess there isn't a really perfect time to play a scary game it's kind of like when do i want to punish myself why why, why would i do that and it's kind of funny how finance of freddy's and this I, i'm comparing finance of freddy's to everything because that's the only horror game i've like dive into thoroughly um, apparently this is also like going through different shifts. I don't know if it's gonna be like a time to schedule like Five Nights at Freddy's or if it just ends when I complete all my tasks. I know nothing. We'll see. Um, but this right. actually does have a story. Here we go. I don't, I don't know what it is. Okay. I already, I did load this part of the game in first to make sure the graphics is fine. The frames are okay. I wanted to make sure the audio was like somewhat balanced. So like I already seen this room. Beyond this I'm blind. I have not seen anything done anything i have clicked this i don't oh that's so oh, okay that's weird <laughs> that's uh that's some movement right there okay <laughs> okay um i thought this was weird right clicking opens up this like inventory thing uh there's another inventory button right here large items are held in your hands if both hands are full you will need to drop a large item before picking up another smaller items are kept in your pockets okay so only like a few certain amount of large items can be held at once and then you can just fill your pockets to the brim with body parts. I mean, uh, items. All right, so there's an actual inventory system. So it's not just gonna be a walk through and get scared kind of game. It's an interactive game. You actually have to do stuff. You have to complete stuff like Five Nights at Freddy's. I like that. When it's a game that you're kind of just traversing along, walking into the next jump scare, I don't really like that. I don't like story-based jump scare. I don't like story-based horror games that often because it's not scary. If I want to be scared, I want jump scares. <laughs> I want to see like demons in like dark hallways. Oh. You know, I want some freaky stuff. Oh my god! This is nice. You know, we got a cross here. So we're just going right into it. There's a dead person right in front of me. Just like that. Okay. Rebecca. Oh, hello. Perfect timing. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to you cold dead storage too, and bring bro. us Mrs. Page. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. Use the green by standing behind it and pressing the green interact key. Now, from my knowledge with horror games, especially story-driven ones, when it's, if it's a story-based horror game, you never just like get right into it. So I'm probably not gonna be possessed for the first like 10 minutes playing this game. Open the bay with the body's name. Pull out the rack and move the cart over to it. Open the bay with the body's name. Do I know his name? Oh, it's gonna tell me. Okay, Oswald Dalton. Sorry, man. Left mouse button. Ooh, it's very interactive. Okay, I get it. So I need to bring this dude, like, over here, I imagine, right? Yeah. Holy sensitivity, dude. Okay, anyways. Bring that over him. And now what? Okay. Push him in, close the door. And then I have to get Dorothy out. Dude, this is awful. It just It's not scary, but just messing with dead bodies. That's just weird. Very weird game. Okay. Let me just close that. Ooh. I I understand the pay, but I think making people want to be this, you know, work this kind of job. That's creepy, man. Why would anyone want All right. to do this? I'm just finishing up something here. Imagine your mom asks you, "What do you want to do with life? What do you want to What do you want to be?" Oh, I want to work in a mortuary. I want to move dead bodies around. You're gonna sound insane. Okay, so 87. That's a pretty good age. Yo, you lady. Um, recording the distinguishing marks. Enter markings in the computer and print and bombing report. Uh, head, left shoulder. Okay, so I just need to like look at the um, the significant body parts: head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Uh, I'm kidding. Arms and legs. Uh, okay, so arms. There seems to be some kind of. I don't know. <laughs> Inspecting a body. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles. Scratches, bruises, interact with them to record them on the clipboard. I think this is a bruise, right? No, that's just her being old. All right, my bad. I can rotate her? Okay, well, there's something, obviously. Check her head. 
Oh, this is gross. Ew. I see nothing wrong with her. Her teeth are terrible. Dentist needs to be fired. Okay, that, I didn't do that. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Suck. All right. Ew, dude. Okay, there's also like a little thing around things that I need to identify. Oh, I see one right now, too, on the foot. I didn't even look at the foot. It didn't tell me to look at the feet, dude. What the hell? Great. Climb on in it. here and put everything into the record system. Climb on in here, put everything into the record system. Don't okay. forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. This sounds like After the voice that, actor we'll started. in um, Hunter. No, uh, the, the Hunter. The, um, what's it called? Oh, I love the game. I know it. It's a hunting simulator game. It's one of the, the biggest hunting games on Steam right now. Um, Riverfield Network How To To Enter Cadaver. Anyways, I think that's the same voice actor. That's what I was trying to Die say. Here. What was that? I didn't say anything. You alright? Yeah. I'm fine. Sorry. No, thank you. <laughs> to enter cadaver information, click the record system icon. Dude, when, he, when that spoke, dude, it was in my brain. The audio for that was so good. I felt it in my brain. It wasn't just like an audio playing. No, it was like here. It was in me. Pause. Match the sections on your clipboard to the corresponding sections on the computer. Uh, enter, enter, okay. Record system, name. Oh, okay, I was gonna type it in, but it's a little easier than that. There's nothing for the, any of that. Right shoulder, we got that. Right l leg. We got blemishes, left leg. We got hemangioma. Is that it? That should be it. Yay! Entry two. That's for another body, I guess. I don't think, like I said, nothing happens necessarily, like, to you. But I just wanted to know if there were, like, sudden minor changes after hearing the voices. Uh, it doesn't look to be. I'm guessing nothing really happens until the night shift. I'm willing to bet someone is going to be outside eventually. All right. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. Oh, okay. I'll be monitoring. Everything's um, on your list there if you need it. Why are jaws shut with needle injector and settings needle? Needle injector. Needle injector? Oh, okay. It tells you. Needle injector and setting needle. That's not it. I think I can just pick everything up, though. Ooh, what is that? Cavity fluid? Uh... That's gonna be used for something later. All right, let's look at what we got on the clipboard. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and settings needle. Oh, put the manipulator up and press the injector button and drive barbs into the skull. Dude, this is like so... crazy. I... What am I doing? What am I doing? 20 minutes later. So it's supposed to be up Click. Oh! Okay, I see, I see, I see. There we go. I hated that. I hated all of that. Interact with the eye. Okay, so the manipulator is the, the little UI thing that tells me what to do. Interact with the eye to place the cap, then close the eye. I can't use that oh, here. Oh, wait. I need to open it first. What am I doing? I can't use that here. I just used it. What are you saying? I can't use that here. All right. The game's bugged a little bit, man. Uh, maybe I should have just clicked on the eye and then it would have, it would have like pulled it from my inventory. I don't know. Um, what is this? What am I doing now? Hold on. Mix embalming fluid and pump. Glut glutaldehyde, methanol. Okay. Do I have any of that? Oh, okay. I can't hold anything else. I don't like how loud she is, honestly. Hmm. 
Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. What the Just hell, keep man? keep doing your thing. I'll get it. Okay, it's setting a good, like, it's presenting a good setting to move forward because I like how it's making a little, like, uneasy interactions here and there. The fact that the, the, the window opened or closed, whatever it was, something just fell out. It's freaky, it's weird. The voice is already within the first, like, two minutes. It's weird. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, now what? Make an incision in the carotid artery. That's in the neck and jugular vein. Also in the neck with a scalpel. Okay. Ooh, some items need to be used directly on the body to use an item, open quick inventory and select the item needed. Um. I'm missing something. Yeah, no kidding. Use four steps to clamp tubing. Oh, tubing, tubing. Okay, I got it. That's this, PVC tubing. So, now that I have the tubing... Ooh! I can't use that here. Shut up. Engage pump and let the body drain? No, dude, that was freaky. I love that's what I'm talking about. I want to see things just walk in your view. It doesn't interact with you, it just exists in a very creepy manner. I just saw a naked dead body just walk across the doorway at the end of the hall. What? Remove tubes, close incision. Do I need to like add anything? I don't think so. Uh fill an empty T IV reservoir with cavity fluid, then insert trocar into the abdominal cavity. I like how there's some anatomy to it. It's kinda cool. I like anatomy. Anyways. So abdominal cavity. I'm not even gonna read it. Let's just go right into it. Ooh, I should have read it. I should have read it. What is it doing? Am I doing this? I I am. Okay. There we go. I don't. I don't know if I did that right. Is, this, is there some kind of like thing that stops me if I'm doing it wrong? Eventually, cavity fluid. That's awful. Mix cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Um, mix cleaner in bathroom closet. Okay, it has a dude. If I look outside the window. Nothing's over here. Nothing funny over there. Okay, we're cool for now. I opened this. I'm gonna close it, but I know I opened that. Hello, Jesus. You're cool, right? You're not gonna freak me out? If I stare at you long enough, will your eyes open? I've seen horror games. I understand how some of them work. You're gonna change, aren't you? if I like to look away and then ha ha okay no I think it's a, it's just a painting I need to go all the way back over here am I cool we're cool we're cool we're cool, we're cool. okay so it is off it's just mixing because there's nothing to do right now I'm gonna just keep my head down just kidding what's the fun in that hello Hello? Oh, there's no one. Use a wipe across facial features while holding down interact while the, until the lotion is used up. <clears throat> Ooh. Bro. Tell you what. 